Shoulder Girdle Muscles by Vladimir London. In the history of European fine arts, there are many examples of artists who had limited understanding of human anatomy. This is especially apparent in medieval artworks of crucifixion. Even in later periods, when anatomy was no longer secret knowledge, some artists made junior mistakes. Like in this artwork, for example, where the chest muscle is overlapped by the coracobrachialis. In this video, you will learn how to solve the challenge of depicting a shoulder girdle with the necessary knowledge of its anatomy. You have to know a human body's construction to depict it convincingly. Here's the artwork we will build step by step in this lesson. The biceps originate from the shoulder blade and insert into the radius bone. The triceps go from the shoulder blade and the upper arm bone to the elbow. Between these two muscles, there is a shoulder muscle. It originates from the upper arm bone and inserts into the elbow bone. Next to it, there is a muscle that connects the coracoid process with the upper arm bone. The widest muscle of the back originates from the spine, ribs, and sacrum and inserts into the upper arm bone. If you did not memorize the intertwining of shoulder girdle muscles, here's a tip. Just make seven zigzag lines. These lines can serve as guides for the muscles overlap. I will use red chalk to quickly mark the major muscles. Here's the muscle that the artist placed incorrectly in the artwork you saw previously. The knowledge of origins and insertions of every muscle that influences body appearance should not be underestimated in life drawing. Without it, you will be drawing what you see, and the challenge is that you cannot see what you do not know. You would agree that it is very challenging for an artist to depict all those muscles from life realistically without proper knowledge. Here's a drawing of a model with a raised arm that is done with the necessary anatomy in place.